today we're gonna to be teaching you how to change an oil. My dad. All right. This is how, these are the things you will need. You need the oil. Filter that fits your vehicle. Six quarts. A drain pan, a ratchet to loosen the drain plug, and a filter wrench to take the oil filter off. All right. Now we're under the car. This is your oil filter. This is the oil pan and the drain plug. I'm gonna take the ratchet and remove the drain plug and let the oil out. Okay. Now we gotta wait a few minutes and let the oil drain out into the drain pan. Now that all the oil is drained out, we gotta put the drain plug back in. Alright, then the next step we have to move, remove the oil filter. I need the pan to catch the oil that's going to drip off the filter. When you remove your oil filter, you always want to check there's a rubber gasket on here. You always want to make sure that it's still attached to the oil filter and not on the car. Alright, the next step is you have to replace the oil filter. Here's your oil filter with that rubber gasket on there. You want to get a little oil on your finger and put it around the edge of the gasket. You don't want to put dry gasket on. Alright, now I'm going to come under here. You can see the oil filter flange up there and there's no gasket on it and you just simply thread it back on. Just gonna snug it up a little bit. Alright, now we gotta go up top under the hood and add the oil. Here's the cap where you add the oil and as you can see it tells you on most cars what type of oil you need. Get a funnel and then just add the oil. Our particular vehicle takes six quarts, but they can vary from vehicle to vehicle. We got a one quart jug and then a five quart jug. So we'll have our six quarts. And you want to replace the oil fill cap. Here's the oil dipstick. It's located in the front on this vehicle. All right, I have to start it for one second so that that I can pump oil into the oil filter. See so here a designated sticker to tell you where the dipstick is. Okay, and you can see on the the bottom of the dipstick, see it has bolt marks, these little X's, and these holes. You want your oil to be filled up to the top of that, to the top hole there. You always want to double check, make sure you don't have any leaks underneath the car. 
from your oil, from your drain heat, or your plug, or the oil filter. So it's always good to double check before you, before you let it down. That you don't have any leaks, okay? Everything is good. So I'm gonna pull it down off my ramps. <laughs> so it's on flat ground. And the last step is you want to check your oil and make sure you got it up to the full mark. So you can see it's all the way up there. It's hard to see the new oil on the dipstick, but it's not that hard again. It's pretty glossy. All right. And then you just re turn the dipstick back to its home. Double check, make sure your cap is on and tight. And then check the oil. And that's how you change the oil. All right, and that is how you successfully change the oil in your car. What was that?